Hey, the uh, brush we're using for today's shave is a uh, Badger from That Darn Rob. And it is the uh, his Fanchurian knot. And it started out a little bit uh, not soft for me. But I started soaking it a little bit before shaves. And that really started to help it out. I got a feeling I don't have to do that anymore. But I just did it for grins tonight because I had the time. The other razor uh, the other piece of equipment here uh, this is a fat boy uh, vintage Gillette we're going to shave with it on a uh, setting of five because I've got two days of growth on inside it is a feather blade and uh, this one has 12 uses on it so this is number 13. The soap we're using today is a puck uh, that's been soaking for just a minute or two. Uh, Williams. Williams Mug Soap. The shave bowl, lathering bowl we'll use today is this from Roger Quintero. A uh, one he 3D printed. And uh, I will see if I can put the, uh, the link to that pattern uh, down in the comments. I believe we're ready to uh, do my usual splash. I've got hard hard water as usual, and the uh, it is winter, and so the water's cold. Now, in previous days, I did a 45 second load with William soap, and that gave me like three passes more than I needed. I reduced it to 20 second load, and these were with two bore brushes. Today's brushes. A bigger brush and it's a badger but we're going to go ahead and try the 20 second load I'm going to keep reducing it a little bit because even yesterday with the or two days ago uh, with the 30 second load I still ended up with two extra passes so let's take it to 20 seconds if you choose not to soak your puck beforehand and this is a soak in cold water sometimes you can get great results with a hot water soak as well uh, but you can uh, just reduce your load time and various things like that. Some people hate soaking um, or, or blooming any kind of soap. No matter what, they're just opposed to it. Uh, and that's fine if you want to do that with Williams. Uh, I, I've gotten better results with this type of uh, treatment with soaking rather than not. But you can just load for a lot longer, like a minute or a minute and 15 or something like that if you choose not to soak. All right. So we're going to take, and I have pretty much shaken a lot of the water out of this brush. Um, and I just put uh, about two and a half teaspoons of water. Um, if I look at it, the cup is pretty much the diameter of the puck. Then it really is just maybe three millimeters deep or something like that. And so if you don't happen to have a measurement tool on hand, then that's how you can <clears throat> gauge. Uh, you, you know, if you want to start experimenting with how much, uh, because what I'm going to do is take this water once it's done uh, before I start using the brush in there I am going to pour this water into the lather bowl and that way that soap infused water is not wasted it doesn't go right down the drain um, so um, I'm going to put a little bit more water on my brush here instead of slinging all of it out we'll give it a good shake and get rid of a good bit of it and there we go so I'm going to pour now the uh, soak water <clears throat> into the lather bowl. And now we'll lather with the uh, badger. It'll clink a little bit probably because this is a uh, small cup. All right. A uh, 20 second uh, load. And we'll start at the round number there, 20. So we'll stop at 40. Okay. Maybe a twisting motion might be a little more effective um, with this small bowl. And there, that is 20. That'll be really interesting to see if this is enough. Uh, it could be that uh, the bores that I have used, while they are um, uh, smaller knots, um, and they're not too much stiffer than, you know, badgers, 
they're pretty soft and comfortable. We'll just have to see um, if they stir up more soap than, uh, than this guy. All right, so we'll just go ahead and start up. It's pretty liquidy right now, but that's all right. One of the cardinal rules of Williams is to stir through this kind of airy bubbliness. If you um, want to save a little bit of time, YouTube has a speed feature for its videos. It usually takes several minutes to uh, to get this lather because it actually doesn't take too long to get to where it looks pretty close to okay, but it still needs some more stirring. Um, and so if you don't want to wait for that, that's all right. I understand. Um, just uh, you can hover over the video and then there's a gear icon just click that gear the speed selection change it to 1.5 something like that and uh, so it's it's getting better I really enjoy my fat boy on setting three especially it's just a really nice smooth setting still gives me a great cut and I could use that because even that lower setting I mean that's fine in four um, even with longer growth you know it cuts it down nicely but um, I decided to clock it up to five to really get a hold of this extra growth Now this particular bowl I've discovered is just a little bit a little bit too small for kind of the lathers that I often will generate. So I asked Roger to do me a favor and change the design. And that's the cool thing about these uh, 3D printed things because it's just a computer file and. Um, People all over the world with uh, 3D printers can then be able to print themselves an exact copy of this bowl. And uh, I thought his brush rest there was just ingenious. Look at that. That's just awesome. <coughs> Has a flange at the bottom to hold it while you're working. You know, my, uh, my ceramic bowl doesn't really need one because it's a heavier bowl. So it sits and the weight will keep it in my hand. This is not that heavy at all because it's plastic. Nice firm plastic too. It doesn't have any give very much at all. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a good looking leather. We're getting there. So Williams is obviously not for people who really want to whip up a lather in about 60 seconds you know there are um, more modern soaps that can do that with no problem but they cost a lot more this guy's about a dollar twenty in the stores a dollar if you get lucky don't uh, careful on ebay williams pucks uh, a bunch of highway robbery going on out there charging people way 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 too much All right, that looks pretty good. I'm thinking I'll just use that. I don't think I need to add any more water. I may have just lucked out and got enough water in it from the get-go, the uh, right amount. See how it feels in the fingers. little bit of cushion the uh, it's not as creamy as my other mixes and uh, <clears throat> I can definitely feel the ridges in my fingerprints 
when I did my 40 sec 45 second load, I could, uh, it was a really nice uh, creaminess to it. Now, that's the question. Does this one just need some more mixing to really integrate that soap? Maybe it needs more water to activate more soap that's there. Or it could be on the other side of the uh, optimum hydration ratio. And it could be that if I add more water, I keep uh, thinning it down. With Williams, it's a little hard to know. Sometimes. There are other soaps like this that behave in a similar way. So, uh, kind of mix this around a little bit more just in case that will help it out. Then, a lot of times, the first pass will tell you what the answer to that question is. So, let me splash my face with a little bit more water before we put on the lather. And I don't know if this is too thin, so I'm not gonna leave any extra droplets on there because that's something I can add later. All right, here we go, it's a nice big knot. I, in my Williams experience, I do seem to get a creamier lather when I load more soap, and so I usually have extra um, passes at the end of the shave, still in the lather bowl. And then when I start to reduce the load time to try to make it more economical, more concert, uh, conservation of lather, kind of conservation of soap um, oriented, then I, uh, it starts not to be quite as, as creamy and luxurious. So that's an interesting, yeah, see, look, this, yeah, this, uh, this needs more water because I've got it on my face already and more is generating from the, from the brush. And so, I believe that this guy needs a little bit more water. So I'm going to refill my syringe here. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon into the bowl there. And we'll add, a, add some to the brush here. So that little bit on the brush is definitely that you saw before I started mixing. That's definitely going to be enough to do me three passes. How about that? Now, I can add a few drops at a time to the, to the brush, and a lot of times they just sling off. So one of the things I've started doing, have a little sprayer, and that will add water in kind of a wider manner so it doesn't quite get thick enough and run off as easily. shave area right there. It's a good feeling lather, a light soapy scent. 
um, when you first start using a puck of Williams, sometimes it's a very strong citronella scent, but if you just leave it out, that goes away or really diminishes significantly. Yeah, it's a good, good looking, good feeling lather right here. All right, fat boy. Let's see what you do at level five. Feather. Cutting through it nicely. Nice glide. Williams is really slick. A lot of people don't don't know because they don't really give it a fair shake. It is slick as snot, as they say. I'm getting terrific glide here. And the fat boy here holds the blade pretty close um, to the edge. Which is really nice because it uh, it makes that edge pretty um, stable, smoother. It's so as I mentioned earlier, we it turns out that we were on the uh, the good side of that optimum bubble of of ratios with the soap and the water. Turns out adding more water was the right thing to do. Instead of thinning it down, it activated more of the soap. And so it smoothed it out, made me a terrific slick lather. It was still creamy as I was rinsing it off my face, a nice luxurious feel. And it still has very nice residual slickness even now. Um, and so I added a half a teaspoon to the uh, lather that was in the bowl. And so I'll show you what that lather looks like. Isn't that awesome? That is a properly, at least the way I like to have it hydrated, that is a properly hydrated Williams soap. Slick, protective, and also creamy. Most people don't think you can get to creamy with Williams, but they just need a little method change. Now some people are not patient enough for it. Oh, it's okay. I get that. <laughs> I've been looking for a, uh, to hit it right with the, with the Williams to be able to recommend a video, you know, to people so that they can have just a good experience with it and a lot of times when I reduce the wait time uh, the load time then it it never gets to the creamy it I still get a great shave it's nice and slick it's always slick now here's how I knew that I could add water and be okay at that first pass and this is important for some people when I did my neck swipe like this Right now it's pretty consistent, farm rows, if you want to call them that. Um, they are, you know, pretty consistent. There's not clumping or skipping or anything like that. If there are clumps in there, for me, the way I like my lather, slick and creamy at the same time, um, then those there'll be some clumping in there somewhere. And I saw that on the first pass, so I knew I could add more water and be just fine. All right, so we're definitely going to have plenty of lather for uh, for this shave. How about he didn't? I was I was doubtful with what was on that brush right after the twenty second load. Doesn't take much, as it turns out.
and uh, just for your purposes, a uh, one puck of Williams lasted me 60 shaves last year. So that's pretty darn good for a dollar twenty, and it's a a classic scent, so it kind of smells good if you're into the uh, the connection with those um, shavers who've gone before you. Um, if that's something that you are into, the vintage and the nostalgia and all that, then the scent is going to be enjoyable for you. It's light, so it's not going to get in your way. It's not going to offend. Um, and then it's just, it's slick. It feels great. It performs well. Creamy, luxurious feel. Most people don't know you can get this kind of lather out of Williams. So if you're into that, then it's a, a really good deal. And uh, I think those tubs of the premium soaps like Barrister and Man or um, Holy Cow, Declaration Grooming, Noble Otter, you know, those good guys, they're excellent. And they provide better post-shave feel, but I've got oily skin. Doesn't really matter to me. Those, those other may provide some other benefits. I'm not saying they're bad, but if you're looking at it, especially from a uh, nostalgia and history uh, and a uh, money perspective, um, those guys cost more. And uh, whereas I can, they, and I think they usually last about three months of daily shaves. And so uh, this guy lasts two months and his cost is a tenth. Um, well, better than a tenth. Because uh, I think some of them are like $17 or something like that. 18 sometimes. Um, and some of them are even 22 and that kind of thing. So you compare that against a dollar or a dollar 20. And, uh, and this is a much, much more economical soap. And you still get some awesome benefits. Now, shaving with this feather, I think is going to be really nice now that I've gotten past those introductory shaves where for me at least it's a little bit on the unpredictable side it's just really sharp uh, it cuts the hair really well however it also if I'm not careful or if I have a little lapse in technique then I can generate some razor burn irritation or even a cut and uh, the great thing about pu pushing blades a little farther than just five shaves is you get into this nice smooth zone where they're still really sharp, cut really well, but they've smoothed out a little bit and are a lot more comfortable. And so even though we're at five right now, so I did not dumb it down after the first pass, it still has given me a very comfortable shave with no irritation. All right, and so we will lather up for the third pass. And that uh, second uh, rinse I did just there was, again, creamy, great feel to it. Very nice. Now, I'm not saying Williams is the cheapest soap out there, even at $1.20 or so a puck these days. Um, Arco lasts three months instead of two months, and it's about the same price got a lemony industrial smell that's super strong so that is not as nice but to take care of that I I shred it with a cheese grater leave it out on a couple of paper plates for a few weeks three weeks two weeks maybe and then when you uh, Pack it back into any container you like, any shape container. The smell has already dissipated and it's very enjoyable. Of course, some people like the smell. But a lot of people don't. So yeah, this five setting is just terrific. Nice, uh, 
quick, effortless cut. And it's so slick, I can easily do what I'm doing right now and go back over areas. Sella is also another one that's a good cost. It uh, is an Italian soap that's been around for a super long time. And if you buy it in the one kilogram block, then it's about seven different refills and you'll get a few months out of each one. Um, and so that's uh, that's a good one too. Easier to lather than the, the Williams. And if you like an almond marzipan type uh, smell, cherry-ish, then, um, uh, then that's especially attractive. Uh, but I'll say that with uh, Sella, you do need to package up that uh, that kilogram block when you're not using it seal it in a ziploc bag set it you know out of the light somewhere and uh, uh, Even you can put it in the fridge if you want uh, To preserve it because One of the nice things about Sella in certain respects is they didn't put any preservatives in the soap And so it can go rancid if you just uh, leave it out, but a ziploc a sealed ziploc should be pretty good for it uh, fridge is even better some people will vacuum seal uh, the block as well. Um, that's another option if you're looking for economical soaps. Uh, another great one with maybe the best, uh, a really good smell um, of all these cheap soaps that, that I've mentioned is Pre de Provence. And I like number 63 better than the original. Um, but it's a hard soap like Williams. Um, and so it will go, it's triple milled and it's uh, French soap. And it will last a very long time. And it's more expensive. It's on the $17, $15 side if you're lucky. Um, but it will last a very, very long time. And so by the time you calculate out how long it lasts, then it starts to become a really cheap option. So that's a good one too. All right. Um, so this has been a great shave. Uh, I don't even think I see any hairs in my trouble spot that have length on them. And that is very above average for me. So here this feather... Uh, many people ditch their feathers after five uses, but uh, we this is use number 13, and it's given me an above average uh, shave, and it took care of the two days of growth without any problem at all. And this last pass was done with it at a level five, which I often will find a little uncomfortable. Um, and so I'm kind of surprised that it was as smooth as it was. Uh, so I think the soap... The slickness of the soap helped to protect me. And then the smoothness of the blade, since it's a little older than a lot of people have feathers for. I think those two things combine to make it a really good, smooth, comfortable shave. So, uh, no, no irritation at all right now. Um, looks and feels uh, just terrific. Another soap that I like is uh, Sterling. Sterling Soap Company. And, uh, and this is one of their balms that matches up with a really popular soap that they have called Executive Man. And uh, I like their balms. They have a lot of fragrances. A nice sample program where you pay a few dollars and that sample of soap they send you will last you for about a month of shaves great way to try out their stuff it's a it's not as um, economical uh, as like Williams but it's better than Barrister and Man because and, and the other ones I mentioned similar to that because you actually get almost six ounces of soap for less than what you'd pay for some of those ones that I mentioned now of course it, it's not as the lather is not as just silky luxurious smooth as the others um, but it's a really slick, high-performing lather, so I really like uh, Sterling soaps. I think if you were to look at my inventory, I probably have more Sterling soaps um, than any other brand. Uh, they have a great uh, scent catalog, and I happen to like the, as it turns out, I didn't know when I started, um, the ones that are more like cologne scents, like this one, Executive Man, is an Aventus, uh, kind of um, inspired by the Aventus cologne by Creed. Very popular cologne. My wife loves it. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so it smells great. And it's got, Sterling's got several based on great men's colognes. Uh, as well as other things like fruits and 
uh, sweet things and uh, menthol products, <clears throat> things like that. Anyway, so I and it's, they're great people to to deal with as well at Sterling. So like their balms. All right, we're good. We're good. Happy shave. So I ended up adding one more teaspoon of water to that uh, lather. So, um, and that's why I started out with two and a half teaspoons in the uh, in the lather bowl uh, that came from the bloom water because I have in the past had to add a little bit to it, and that's where I want to keep it. I want to keep it to where I have to add a little bit of water. I mean, I could fine tune it. You know, if I use this every day. I could fine tune it to figure out exactly how much water I could put in the soap and then I wouldn't have to add more later. But I'd, I'd rather be able to catch it um, and, and fine tune it as I go instead of possibly adding too much water in the beginning. Now, I still have, uh, you know, probably two passes of lather in here, but at this point, I mean, I'm loading for 20 seconds. Um, I think I'm gonna let that be my optimum setting because it's an inexpensive soap. Um, and this is great to have a little bit of margin in case a, uh, a pass goes wrong. I have to, you know, for some reason, just wipe it off and throw it down the drain. Then I've got, you know, more to, uh, to work with. So, and this, and this is just tremendous lather. I mean, that's just, that's just awesome. So you can get this from Williams and I've just shown you one way to do it. I'm not saying it's the only way. But I think it's the way I like. Uh, I don't like the hot. Um, I don't like adding hot water to the soak because I don't want to wait for the hot water to come along. And so I, my one of my methods was let's do the soak with cold water for, and I also like it for a few minutes. Uh, some people will let it soak for half an hour or something like that. Um, uh, they'll come into the shave area put a little bit of water on it, go about their business, and then come back. Well, I wanted something more uh, streamlined than that, and so I just let it soak. I wanted to let it soak just for the prep time duration. So putting a little bit of water on the soap is the first thing I do, Then I prep all my other gear and all that stuff. So it's got a few minutes to soak, and that's what I wanted to have happen. And then because it has those few minutes, um, then you're able to uh, get more soap off the puck uh, more quickly than if you did not soak. Uh, and also there's a big difference in Williams. If you use it once a week or once a month instead of every day, because it'll retain a little bit of moisture if you use it every day. And so then it's easier uh, to pick up the soap up off there. Uh, you don't have to load for quite as long if you use it every day. And so that's, you know, obviously that's your choice. If you want to have it on your, just for nostalgia purposes, have it in your rotation every every week or month or something like that, then uh, now you know that the load time might vary, you know, if you do that. And as a reminder, uh, like I said, Williams is not going to be the soap for you. If you're a morning shaver, you're doing it right for work, and you don't have the, you know, six to eight, nine minutes. Um, well, no, so I think six to seven minutes is about right. But uh, to, to, to lather up. To lather it up it just takes a little bit longer than the other soaps and, and that's all right if that's not it that doesn't fit into your lifestyle then that's the way uh, that's okay um, but uh, i kind of think of it as a, a more meditative thing the the repetitive action of, of stirring you can kind of just uh, space out for a little bit and just have a moment a little piece of your day that's uh it doesn't have to be filled with activity uh, sometimes that's good for sometimes people need that uh, so for me, in the way I mix lather, I uh, I found this bowl to be slightly on the smaller side, and so I asked Roger to to change up the dimensions and widen it out just a little bit. And so um, so that is uh, forthcoming, and uh, and so but I will put the link to this one uh, right here. I, I think he said 127 um, 127 was the interior dimension in millimeters. Of this particular bowl and so if that seems like the size you want then uh, those those plans and files would be good for your 3d printer or if you have a friend with one uh, then you'll be able to make your own shave bowl just like this one and this is a, a thumb rest as well as a brush holder it's awesome 
and the grooves work really well for agitating that lather. So that's a top-notch shave as it turns out. The uh, slickness and the protection that soap gave me and the smoothness of the feather, uh, it definitely would have been a little different if the feather would have been younger, but with uh, 13 uses on it, uh, it just was a dream. I still, I don't have any irritation. I don't even have any redness and that's pretty rare and especially on and the setting of five on the fat boy and that's an, another reason i love the fat boy so much he's great to hold he's got the right kind of handle and weight distribution that i prefer um, and so i really enjoy the the nostalgia of that uh, old vintage gillette razor but also really like the performance of it and the use of it so uh, just really smooth not very much blade chatter really happy with this shave this was just optimum all the way around from getting the right williams mix to um, you know a, fa and a fairly economical one to uh, to the great performing shave so just happy with this one all the way around uh, so i hope there was something here for you uh, maybe you're here because you are a williams user that uh, or i mean a, a non-williams user and you have only heard bad things about it hopefully this lather and this shave has helped you understand that maybe uh, maybe those other guys who missed it a little bit and didn't quite know how to use it. And uh, so here's, like I said, this is not the only way to get good Williams lather, but definitely one. Take care. Hope it's been helpful for you. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Good night.